Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create some bigger lips and a smaller nose in this Bargy R Studio and we will also add a LUT to this filter. I will provide you all the assets you need for this filter so you can follow along this tutorial. But of course you can use your own assets to customize the filter. At first we will create this filter without a LUT because it is much simpler so you just have the bigger lips and the smaller nose and then I will show you how you can add a LUT to it. So this will look like this and as a comparison this is with the LUT, the smaller, the smaller nose and the bigger lips and this is without. So yeah, if you are ready we can start creating this filter. So let's go! Hey again, so let's do some bigger lips and a smaller nose here in this Bargy R Studio. I will do this without a LUT first because it is much simpler without a LUT and then I will also show you how you can do bigger lips and a smaller nose with a LUT. So yeah, to follow along this tutorial I have created some assets for you. You can download them for free in the description. So just click on the download link then you will end up here on this Dropbox site and here just click on download. After your download is finished you will find a zip folder in your downloads folder and then just unzip this folder. Here you will find um, yeah, free assets in the folder. So the first step we will do is to import the assets we have just downloaded. So for this just drag and drop the two following assets into the Spark AR Studio. The first is the biggerlips.fbx file and the second one is the skinsmoothing.bng file. The LUT we will import um, yeah, on another way because we need to do this to create this filter. So to import the LUT we go to our assets panel then click here on the little plus, go all the way up to import and here click on color LUT. And here we just select our LUT we want to import and then click on open. So now we have imported all our assets we need for this filter and now we can start creating the filter here in this Buggy R Studio. The first thing we have to do is to add a face mesh to our scene. So for this we go to our scene panel, click on the little plus and here search for face mesh. Then we insert the face mesh mesh and yeah, you will see this in your viewport. Spargy R has automatically created a face tracker for us and inside we can find our face mesh. Now we just have to go to our right hand side um, when selecting the face mesh and then go down to deformation and then click on the little plus next to it. And here we just yeah, select the bigger lips plus smaller nose. And now we already have applied a um, some bigger lips and a smaller nose here in the Spargy R studio. Um, you see that Spargy R has automatically created a material for us, the face warp material zero and you can also adjust the deformation strength here at the deformation tab. Just slide this slider up and down and you see the lips are getting smaller and then bigger when you yeah slide the slider to the right. So now we have successfully yeah, applied some bigger lips and a smaller nose here without a LUT. As I have said it is pretty simple to do this and now we will um, do the same but with a LUT. So for this we um, remove the deformation here, just remove from object and also then the yeah, face warp material will disappear. So again we have this face mask here and now we will just apply a LUT to it. So the first thing we have to do is to create our LUT material. Two LUT materials. One for the picture and also one for our face. So for this we just go to our assets panel and then we just drag and drop our LUT to the patch editor. So for this just drag and drop this LUT to the patch editor. Now Spark AR will automatically create this color LUT shader patch. We need this shader patch twice so just yeah, copy and paste it. So you have two of them and then just connect the um, RGBA output of the LUT with the color LUT input of the second color LUT shader. So the next thing we have to do is to extract our textures. The first texture we have to extract is the camera texture and the second one is the face tracker face mesh texture. So for the camera texture we go to our scene, 
click on the camera, go to the right hand side and here click on texture extraction on the little plus next to it. So after we have done this, we can find the camera texture zero in our assets panel. The next step is to extract the face tracker texture. For this, we go to our face tracker in the scene, click on it, then go to the right hand side and also click on the little plus next to texture extraction. Now we can also find a face tracker zero texture in our assets panel. Now just drag and drop both textures, the camera texture and also the face tracker texture to the patch editor. Then connect the RGBA output of the camera texture with the texture input of the first color light shader. And then do the same for the face tracker texture and just connect it to the second color light shader. So now we have to create two materials. So for this go to your assets panel, click on the little plus and here select material. I will call the first material LUT. Then after I've renamed it, I select it. Go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then I go down to the shader properties to diffuse and click on the little arrow next to texture. So now you can find a little yellow LUT patch in your patch editor. So now we have to create the second material again. Go to the assets panel, click on the little plus, click on material. Go down to the materials and also rename this to face lot so you know which material is which so then again select the face lot material go to the right hand side and set, set the shader type to flat now go down to texture again and click on the little arrow next to it and now you can also find the second yellow patch in your patch editor now just connect the output of the first color lot shader to the lot input and also here connect the second output with the face tracker texture input to the face lot. So now we see no change in our um, yeah, viewport, but we will do this now. So for this, we need a rectangle in our scene. So go to your scene bundle, click on the little plus and here search for rectangle. Now you will find this rectangle here in the scene. Now um, select the rectangle. I will rename this to LUT. Then I go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. So now you can see that the face tracker is here and also the, the background. So now when selected the LUT rectangle, we go down to materials, click on the little plus and here select the LUT. So now we can see the LUT. But yeah, you can see there is something strange going on when we go further back, then the overlay disappears. But we will um, change this later. So again, go to your face mesh here, to your face track in your scene, go to the face mesh, go to the right hand side again, and again, select as material here the face LUT material. And also here you can see your face LUT is applied. But you can see now there are some strange things are going on at the eye and also here at the mouth. To get rid of it, select the face mesh, then go up to the properties and here just deselect eyes and mouth. And now this effect is gone. So now we can also apply the deformation. As you see, the face LUT is applied. We can go down to deformation, click on the little plus and again select the bigger lips and smaller nose. And you can see now that yeah, the bigger lips and the smaller nose are applied. But again, when we go back at a certain point, those are disappearing and then coming back because there are the layers for the face mesh and also for the um, rest of the LUT. So to get rid of this, we go to our assets panel, go down to materials and select the LUT material. Then we go to the right hand side to the properties and go all the way down to the advanced render options. Here we just deselect the use dev test and also the right to dev. And then we do the same for the face LUT material. Select it, go to the right hand side and then here just deselect use dev test and also write to dev. So now we have the problem that we can't see the bigger lips and the smaller nose at all, but this is a pretty simple fix. So for this, we go to the left hand side to our scene and here we can see that the face tracker is above our canvas. 
but now we have to reverse this order so for this we just um, drag and drop the canvas above our face tracker and then when we have done this we can see that we have the bigger lips and the smaller nose applied but there is one more um yeah problem with this you can't see it that good here because i have a beard but there is a black little line underneath my my chin and yeah we want to get rid of this of course so for this we select our our face lot material just click on it go to the right hand side and then go down to the shader properties and here you can see this alpha which is deselected so just activate it and then here for the texture select the skin smoothening texture we have yeah imported at the start of this tutorial and here now you can see the yeah black line is gone now you have successfully created uh, yeah, face deformation filter with some bigger lips and a smaller nose here in the Spark AR Studio and now you can play around here with the settings so just go to your face mesh and here you can yeah, set the strength of the deformation and of course you can also import your own deformation for your face so you can play around here with the deformation a lot. I hope this video uh, could help you if yes give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!